Yo, yo, it's your boy Reup, and I'm back with another one, keeping it real, raw, and 100. And you see, guys, we are looking at NBA Live 08. I played one game kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, yo, the shit was kind of fun, man. You know, despite all the things that the game was missing, I feel like this was still a good game. You know, I feel like this game might be slept on. You know what I mean? But that's just that's just me playing one game. I, I need to play more, you know, to, to see, you know, really what's going on with this game. But what we're going to do now, we're just going to look at the game modes, just going to see what was NBA Live like back in 2008. You know what I'm saying? What would this really like? And, you know, we're not going to play so much. Oh, see, I like this right here. When you hit on one thing, one game modes, this is what NBA Live 19 was missing. Game modes. I mean, wasn't y'all asking for one v one on one? Now I wonder how is this one on one? Like I wonder, is it was it like the the rundown one on one on Live 19 where you just play the computer? You know, is this an actual Maybe one on one where you can pick. Yes, you can, you know, and you make you do it on live 19. Y'all let me know if you could do it on live 19 or not. Somebody at, you know, controlling the, you know, playing or whatever. Can you actually play one V one? Cause I know you can't do it online, but can you do it if somebody else is sitting right beside you? Y'all let me know that in the comment section below, but this is something that I didn't see live 19 had, you know, I didn't see it, but it, I'm not saying it's not in the game. But, you know, if you have, um, you know, certain emulators or whatever, you possibly can play this game online, you know, through Parsec. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many different ways, so many, so much content, man, is still left out there for NBA Live. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm y'all, y'all going to see the wave of things that I do with NBA Live that's going to, ne it's never been done before. You know what I'm saying? And people, they see it. And I'm going to do it too. And you know what? I'm going to embrace that because we can still take this game NBA live and we can still turn this thing and make this thing happen. You know what I'm saying? As far as with the older titles and, but you know what, what, what we really want is something modern, you know, we need that. But right now, you know, we just carrying along how, how everything goes. So that right there is a plus man seeing NBA live. Um, have that in the game right there for us when we won. Then we got the freestyle challenge, uh, slam dunk showdown, three point showdown. They had that back in 08. Um, NBA All Star Weekend. Welcome to the Crescent City, New Orleans, Louisiana, and All Star Weekend 2008. What a menu we've got in store. The three point competition. We've got the best dunkers in the game. And of course, the rookie sophomore challenge. And the whole All-Star Weekend culminates with the All-Star Game itself as East meets West. All right, there you have it. So, um, yeah, so you got um, the Rookie Challenge, three-point shootout, slam dunk contest, NBA All-Star Game. You know, pretty dope, man. Now we have FIBA, uh, FIBA World Championship. I don't know. Um, okay, they just got the championship mode where they got certain teams. Okay, you can. I wonder, are these just the teams right here? Or because I know you can put the NBA teams in here, it seems like. But it seems like that's all they have is just these teams right here. And you can switch it out so you can play against, you know, you can put your NBA team in there. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Like I said, you, we won't. This was stuff that was missing from Live 19 game modes. You can't just put a my player mode up there and say, okay, this is what you're going to play. And this is all we're going to play. This is all we're going to teach you. This is it. This is all we're going to update with this game. See, you can't take the main piece of what making 2K money and think it's going to just make you money like that. Like, it ain't going to work. Then we got the playoff mode. It'd be dope if they had a franchise playoff mode. That's that's what I really want. A franchise playoff mode. That would be pretty damn dope. 
That would be pretty dope. You can shake the teams up. Oh, you can't. This is what I'm talking about right here. I don't even know if you can do this on Live 10. I don't think you can do this on Live 10. Yo, this is content, y'all, right here. <laughs> Cause I, I'm going to go back and check. Right now, my live, my Xbox is down right now. Um, My Xbox 360. So well, I play Live 10 from, from the 360, and that's down right now. And that's why I've been holding back content. So definitely, I'm getting back on Live 10 content. Don't worry. For those who's been waiting, I promise you, Live 10 content is coming. But, yo, this is dope right here. I don't think on Live 9 you can do this. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. But this is dope because I be wanting to put content together right now. Like, I think I was, matter of fact, I know on Live 16 you cannot, I believe. I, I don't want to get shit mixed up. But one of them games, you cannot do it. And this game, you can actually do a fantasy draft playoff mode. That's something that NBA Live 19, I don't know if that got that. And even if it did, the gameplay with that, of that shit was just so horrible. It wouldn't matter if you had 100 modes. You know what I'm saying? It really wouldn't matter. Dynasty mode. I don't know how deep this is. Um... Welcome to NBA Live 08's Dynasty Mode. Now, you're about to take control of an NBA franchise and begin a 25-year dynasty. New to Dynasty Mode this year are Dynasty Scenarios, which give users the option to enter gameplay and play out specific end-of-game situations. Can you hit the game-winning shot or make a game-saving block? Well, we'll see if you have what it takes to build a championship team. We wish you good luck. Yo, that's dope right there. Um, and it looks pretty deep. This up here, you can do a fantasy draft up here too, of course. Um, I love the fantasy drafts because it gives you a different taste of what these teams, you know, what different players. Like, I don't want to play with the original roster of those guys back then. You know, I mean, I won't mind doing it sometimes. But all the time, nah, I don't really want to do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? And online, you know, we got the season mode, individual practice, slam dunk school. Yo, this is pretty deep modes, man. Um, you can't get no better than this, man. This is this is what a game's supposed to be like. This is what a basketball is supposed to be like. Look, you cannot put a product out. I mean, and be so far behind. Like right now, you guys, technically right now, NBA Live is is far behind because they don't have all these modes in the game right now. So, yeah, technically you're behind because the competition, they, they are definitely deep on things that they have. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what roster management has. Create a player, something that, yo... People was begging for an NBA Live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, well, uh, was it 18? Uh, 19? One of them, like, I, wait, 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 wait. I don't think you can create a player and just put them on the game. I don't think you can do that. I may be wrong. It's some, I know roster editing is something you can do. You may can, can create a player, but I don't think you can. I really don't think you can. Let me know in the comment section below in NBA Live 19. I don't know if you can create a player or not. Just create a player on the fly. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's something right there that's kind of crazy if you can't. Um, I mean, they already got all the roster editing stuff up here. I mean, that this is already up here. I'm not even gonna get into that. You know what I'm saying? So that right there, you guys, is a plus back then. You know, I love I, I love when people say live 19 is so good, this, that, and the third, and the game is missing so much, and you wonder why it's canceled. If you love live like you say you do then, yo, why why aren't you on Twitter right now, you know, demanding answers and why we can't get another live? You know, that's my that's my thing for you fanboys. That's my message to you fanboys. Why you're not right now? You know, you hate it when me and Paragon spoke the truth. You hated this shit. But right now, NBA Live haven't said a damn word in three years. About three, three, four years, right? Am I wrong? I might be off a little bit. Might be giving it too much, but... Yo, y'all, why y'all not on Twitter saying a damn word? 
I'm dropping the content. I'm trying to keep the name alive. I'm trying to do something that a lot of the people that claim they so self entitled, they're not doing nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? They're just waiting on news so they can they can be back putting out the videos. I'm really in the gutter right now trying to get this game out here, trying to keep the name alive. I'm not just doing this just because of self recognition because NBA Live that com this community is smaller. You know what I'm saying? So what can I possibly be doing? You know feel what I'm saying? It's smaller, man. So you know I'm not I'm not going after the big buck. I'm going after what I enjoy. So I'm putting the content out here. Y'all share the videos. You know what I'm saying? Share the videos. Like it. Tell people to subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we can get some things rolling. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about, man. It's trying to get some things rolling out here, man. So, y'all see the content. Y'all see um everything that's in this game. Let me make some adjustments real fast on the fly. But, yeah, y'all see the adjustments in the game. Y'all see... Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all see... All the little content. So let's get into gameplay, man. Let's see. You know, I had a ball earlier. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I could not stop LeBron James. Like that dude is a damn cheat code for real. Um, I would love to play with Allen Iverson. That's one of my favorite, you know, um people to play with. And I think he was on Dallas Mavericks this year. I don't know. He was on Dallas Mavericks. I'm not, I'm sorry, uh uh Denver, Denver Nuggets. Let's go see Denver. Yep. Allen Iverson right there. So that's going to be the team we're going to run with him and Melo. Damn, that was a dangerous team, man. Could have been something good. All right. Matter of fact, we're going to put Iverson. We're going to put, I'm going to go. I don't even want to go against Philly. Let me go against another big team. I had uh, Phoenix Suns, man. They off, they off the chains, man. Yo, my God. Here's another hidden gem. They got the 50s. They got 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, Adidas. And they got all the teams right here that you can pick. And yo, my God. So, you know, we're going to shake things up, man. We're going to go 90s against 80s. I'm going to put the 90s and I'm going to go against the 80s. We're going to switch this thing up, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, NBA Live 08 is giving me all these gems. This, to me... Could be a silent killer, man. You know what I'm saying? This really could be a silent killer right here. I mean, different jerseys we got. Practice jerseys. I mean, I see effort in this. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing effort. Oh, you know I was looking for MJ. They know I was looking for MJ. It's all good, though. Gary Payton, Mitch Richmond, Chris Millen, um, Carl Malone. And Shaquille O'Neal. They got me going. Kareem, Bird, Irvin, Dressler, and Magic Johnson. So, man, this right here should be a ball. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. We're going to put it on All-Star. You know, I ain't going to. Hey, yo, early I had on Starter, and I ain't going to lie. Like, yo, dudes were just killing me up there. So, y'all can say what you want. I'm going to go with the Starter. That's just what we're going to run with, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I ain't going to bullshit and try to put it on no crazy ass, you know, um, you know, crazy ass shit that I can't play. So let's get it. Live from the EA Sports Arena in Vancouver, it's the 90s All-Stars and the 80s All-Stars. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Alvin, along with Steve Kerr. You know what I'm saying? I like this, man. Just imagine if this was on live 19, man. They wanted more of a nice high percentage shot, but they could not convert. Yeah, Julius Irvin. I like Kareem, man. And I could do without that. Come on, Shaq. You're supposed to be the, yo, you, you said you killed Kareem back in his day. Let's go. Oh, get the Shaq. I'll try to get the Shaq. Up to the line. Oh man, Chris Miller hurt. Oh man, dude got hurt in the All Star game. Oh, yo, I didn't free throw help. Okay, we got to pull back that. Okay. Oh, and do hit that one. Let's see, can we get this second one? On Grant Hill, show me something. 
Damn, it's both of them. It's a different look, Marv, going from zone back to the man to man. Get that. The one thing on this game I notice getting to the rim, and dunking on these dudes, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? I mean, they do this on starter. Like, like, like yo, you see the level now. I'm, I'm playing on starter, but you recognize and see how the, the, the CPU, you know what I'm saying? They be, they, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they hitting like they ain't on no starter, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Mitch Richmond to the lane. This game, you know, one thing about Live Away, I've noticed um, that it's definitely highly offensive. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a highly offensive game right here. I only want to play one quarter, man, and, and just still chop it up with y'all about live away. You know, I don't want to do it too much. Look at that. But I'm having so much fun, man. Carl Malone, that looks like, that almost looked like his signature dunk. You know what I'm saying? And I have seen some signature in this game. Sean Marion, he got his shot right. Look at the defense on this game. One thing about live I like is the L1. When, when you engage in L1, whether you're playing on PlayStation or whatever, when you engage in that button right there, what that do is um it, it allows the defense like the, the you know to be real tight up on you. You know what I'm saying? Like you can actually stay in front of your guy like that. But look at this man, the CPU is just so aggressive, man. It ain't no stopping. Like this is you know back and forth type match right now. Now the only thing is back then, um, I I, I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I don't know if the settings are the same as if the, as like the CPU settings. Like right now, it's easy for me to score. So I think the CPU settings, they're going to have ease for them to score. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, and that, that's how I, I think, but I don't know. It's, it's like I kind of remember some, it being something like that back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Now look at this. This is on starter mode now. Like it's, it's no need to put this game on anything else. It's going to be a high-scoring game. And that's just how it is. But the game is still fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm still having a blast playing this game. It's nothing like I'm not having fun playing it. And, 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 and then, back then, well, see, in 08. Oh, my God. Ooh. And see, and, I, and back in 08, I could consider both the NBA 2K I'm making dumb passes right now. Um, I could consider NBA 2K and Live both being in the arcade realm as far as basketball. But I feel like 2K, on the other hand, they just done a better job at still making the game realistic. Even though when you go back and play them older 2Ks, you're like, damn, man, that, that shit really wasn't authentic as I thought. You know what I'm saying? It's still back then was realer and gave you more of a realer feel than NBA Live. Because um, they, you know, they, they had his issues. And people wanted authentic gameplay, no matter what. That, that's just what we wanted. You know what I'm saying? 2K have came and showed us something. That was good defense. Finally got to stop. Oh, look at that. Like I said, we I'm seeing a whole bunch of different animations. Stuff like that. So I'm definitely like loving what I'm seeing right now. But yo, this game is pretty fun. I mean, you know, nothing perfect, but it's still in depth and it's still better than live. It's it's playable. You know, I can get up here and play this game and actually have fun. Live 16. I don't know. Ooh, that was a nice little move. Live 16. I don't. I mean, live 19. I don't know if you could do that. I will be giving you guys my review of live 16 as well. Letting you guys know what's up, how I feel about that. I just dropped that video too, so we're gonna always go back and um, react on our videos. Give me that! Give me that! Look at that, bro. Some dudes be hitting everything, though. Like I said, it's, it's offensive. Oh, getting that Shaq. Try to get Shaq involved, man. Kareem on him. Like right on rice. Right on rice. Uh, -uh give me that. Oh. It won't surprise me. Alright, y'all. 
We see that, man. We see how it is, man. You know, NBA Live 08, man. It's a great game. Look, it's better than NBA Live 19. That's for damn sure, man. Um, Fun, deep. It's deeper than Live 14, 15, 16, and 19, and 18. So it's deeper than all those games. So we can say NBA Live 08 is better than all those games, man. If, if y'all have a difference in opinion, comment in the comment section below. Let me know your experience with NBA Live 08. Um... Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to be going back. We're going to be doing all NBA lives. And we're going to actually be playing this game. I'm going to finish this game. I'm going to up the level. I'll try playing on a different level. Because I'm like, it cannot be that easy for me to score. And for, and that's for one. And for two, it can't be that easy for the CPU to score. So we're going to figure out all that. We're going to come back, you guys, with another video. Even though it, it, it wouldn't matter. I, I'm not asking the developers to come back, open up Live 08 servers, and do some work to it. It's just something that I want to know, man. I want to know if I put it on a harder level, would it be harder for both teams? I think that is the case. We're going to figure it out, give you guys some more um, gameplay footage of NBA Live 08. If you want more, subscribe to the channel. Share the video, like the video. Let's keep NBA Live name alive. And the meanwhile, it's your boy Reup, keeping it real, raw, and 100. I'm out of you guys. Y'all stay safe. Peace out.